as a designer it's very important to keep yourself updated and upgraded at every single step it's very important to stand yourself out among the rest of the professionals in this highly competitive design world and here's one way you could possibly do that So recently Framer launched its one of the biggest game changing update which is of custom cursors. It helps you break the old school way of using primitive cursors and replace it with your own customized designed ones. By the way Framer has an excellent resource website the link of which I have given in the description. You should definitely check that website. It has some of the well designed, well created, customized cursors that you can take inspiration from. And in this video, we will be creating some custom cursors from scratch and we will be looking onto the designing part of it. Let's quickly jump onto the next section of this video. Let's get started. Alright, so now let's talk about cursors. Now what is the primary function of a cursor? The primary function of a cursor is to guide users through the information which is present on the screen or on the interface which he or she is interacting with, right? Now what do we mean by custom cursors? So as the name suggests, Custom cursors are basically customized cursors that you can possibly design and apply to your web design, right? Now, why do we even care about the concept of custom cursors? Like, why are we discussing these points? So, any cursor should possibly provide these two major functionality. Number one is to guide users through the interface. Second is to visually appeal users about the content and add an added positive experience to the overall interaction. Now primitive cursors just fulfills the first point. But if you talk about second point is the limitation of primitive cursors. And here's where the custom cursors steps in. It just fulfills the first and second points and add a positive cherishing user experience when this kind of cursors or this kind of animated customized cursors is reflected on your screen. So Puranjay, give me something which I can look up to, give me some reference or inspiration which I can take regarding this custom cursors. So worry not, I have created a dedicated website, I have designed a dedicated website for this where I have uh, different kinds of cursors you can definitely check this out the link of which is in the description apart from it framer has also created its resource website which you can definitely take a ready inspiration from so you can definitely check that as well i have provided a link of it in the description all right so this was the concept of cursors or custom cursors in general now let's quickly jump onto the next section of this video which is designing of custom cursors from scratch. I'm really excited for this section. I believe this is the most awaited section of this video. See you that side, see you on the canvas. Let's go. All right, so as you all can see, I am on my framer canvas. So the very first question is how to access custom cursors or how to access the option of cursor from this particular canvas to select the frame you can find an option of cursor on the right hand side of the properties panel and if select this plus button you can see multiple options that framework provide in under this cursor uh, function we have web cursors we have custom cursors and third we have set variant so set variant is right now disabled uh, we will talk about this in later half later section of this tutorial so stay around for that as well so first of all if we talk about web cursors so they are just the default cursors that are already designed for you all uh, to change your primitive one to a new one for example if we talk about this crab and if you select this and give this website a preview so you can see our cursor is just change to this grab one we have changed our primitive cursors which was earlier a pointer is now changed to this grab cursor so this is how you can easily change 
a cursor to web cursor now this is not what is the motto of our video now we will see about custom cursors in this you can find a line which is written which is a pick a component do they mean by this pick a component it means if you want to select custom cursor if you want to enable that option and use that custom cursor in your particular website so you need to first of all create that customized cursor and then convert it into a component right so once you have come converted that into a component you can now use that custom cursor as a component for that particular section or pad for your website so if you click option of custom cursor so here are various properties that we can play around so very first one is the component first of all we need to create a component in order to use it in our second is the option of cursor so either you want that customized cursor to follow your original cursor or you want to entirely replace that third is the position so either you want that customized cursor on top right bottom left so you can change that as well you can change with the alignment you can play around with the offset as well the offset value of the custom cursor what's its distance from x and y perspective and then it's a transition so here are some of the minor properties that comes under custom cursor so let's start by our very first section of custom cursor so for this first part we will be creating this custom cursor and let's start by designing of it so first of all we will press t on our canvas and uh, right check the project because this particular section is uh, my projects and I want a customized cursor to when uh, hover around on this project cards it just changes from the normal cursor to check the full project or check the project now we are going to create this custom cursor and we are we are going to add some animation to it so it kind of give us that cycling loop effect loop animation so we will see that as well so i'm just playing around with properties and and the and the composition of this particular custom cursor make sure your height and width is set to fit content and uh, we will try to add an icon to it here we will change its size just reduce the size a bit so that it's not very loud we'll change the color as well to black completely uh, please don't mind my uh, major designing and all the design components and creating a design system thing right now and just the it's, it's just a normal tutorial our major goal is to work on with the custom cursors i will be looking for an arrow upright yeah so i get this option and i have created a basic a kind of a button or you can say a frame just change its style to pixelify sans now we'll convert this into a component we'll name it as custom cursor right so if we create this we have this option and now i will add a variant to this and i will just remove this now i will just link this to the second variant i want this to appear and uh, appear after 1.5 seconds of uh, this similarly it should cycle back to this appear after 1.5 seconds right so we have this animation going on and if we talk about the properties cycle i want this to work on as a cycle right so if we give this a preview the animation is working well right okay so we have created our component now it's time to link with our project so here we are going to link with this card so how we are going to do that first of all we have to select the frame which we want to link our custom cursor to once we select it we'll try to go on to the option of custom cursors we will select the option of custom cursor and we will choose the option of custom cursor under one which we named it we want it to replace and we just need We'll just play around with uh, the transition and, 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 and the animation as well. Now if we give this site a preview, 
the thing should work well yeah so when i hover things around you can see it's working well and we have this cute animated custom cursors which just compels user to take the further step the further action from this particular section of the design right so it kind of compels user to check the project and it kind of have has an animation that doesn't make the user feel this website is static right now let's move on to the second part where we will be designing the second type of custom cursor okay so this is the second part second section of this tutorial video the vision for this kind of custom cursor that i have in my mind is and is to have individual customized cursors for each of this project project line so for digital banking app there would be one custom cursor that would showcase some image regarding uh, that application or there would there could be a video regarding that application which kind of gives a user preview about what this is all about so this is just an another kind of version of this uh, project my project thing it's, it's an another intuitive way of showcasing it right so for this i have already created a component and uh, the design of component is quite simple this is a second custom cursor and i have four different images now the important part is about the linking so how we are how we are going to link each and every line with the custom cursor and different variants of it so first of all let's link all of them with a custom cursor for example so you have to select the custom cursor too and each each one of it is having variant one selected right now i would move to the second point the second project line just change it to variant two similarly for this i would just change it to variant three and for this i would change it to variant four yeah so it's variant one right so we have assigned individual variants for each of them now let's give this a preview so this is working well and if we kind of hover things around this yeah see it's working well if you see this this is also working well yeah right so this is a kind of another form of using customized cursor so you can definitely put some images about your application your design or you can create a short 5 to 10 second gif or animated video regarding that particular project so this is also an intuitive approach of showcasing your design with the help of custom cursors all right so now let's move on to the third custom cursor so the third custom cursor is a quite simple one it's just a blurry a glassy kind of a glossy kind of cursor which is just replacing the primitive one so i already have that design and just link this with uh, the ticker effect by the way if you want to learn how to create this ticker effect then you can definitely check the video i have also created a dedicated video regarding this uh, it might be showing up on the i tab right now or you can find the link in the description okay so if you give this a preview then you can see the cursor is just changed into a glassy one right so these were the three major cursors earlier i was talking about the option which was disabled which was offset variant now this particular option is to kind of transform your current custom cursor to an another one to a variant one when you hover around or when you go around a particular section for example i have a custom cursor which is created for this entire entire website and when i hover on this particular hero section i want that custom cursor to be changed to a second variant right so for that we can definitely use that option so how we are going to do that let's see okay so these are the two variants so initially for the entire website the entire web screen i will be using this variant one which would be my primary custom cursor for the entire website and once i hover around on that hero section or the custom cursor just changes back changes to this variant two 
so how we can do that first of all we will just link the overall website with the custom cursor which is the custom cursor 4 I will just keep the specifications as it is now if we talk about this hero section I want the change to be done in this particular part we will just add uh, sorry we will just add the set variant option and just showcase that it is the variant 2 right now if we give this a preview the hero section the hero stack it is just the normal cursor the normal thing that we have set but as soon as i move into this hero section the hero stack just changes its variant from variant 1 to 2 and for the other for the rest of the part for the entire website it remains the same when i hover around uh, the custom courses that we already created it kinds of change back changes to the respective ones for example if we see the second option we have this what we designed so it changes to and once we are out from that particular area it gets back to the original one that we sent for the entire website so this is the use of that option of set variant now the remix link for this is already given in the description so you can follow along and start designing right away also the website the original design website that i kept showcasing throughout this video the link for this the link for that is already in the description so you can check that as well also the website which was designed regarding custom cursors by framer the framer resource site the link for that is also in the description so you can definitely check them as well now the canvas is open uh, it's time for you to create some own customized design cursors and make sure you share it with me the social links are already given in the description so you can definitely reach out to me whether via linkedin or via instagram or via email so all this are provided on this channel you can definitely reach out to me and make sure you share whatever you design it would be it would be an honor for me to review what you learn from this particular video all right so that was it that was it from this particular video i would see you next time with some more amazing web design ui ux framework related concepts until then remember one thing web design or any sort of design is simple so let's keep it simple and let's make it simple bye